the best PC controllers offer significantly different functionality than what you would typically get from a gaming keyboard or gaming mouse. While the latter is preferable for genres like first-person shooters and retime strategy, sometimes kicking back with a gamepad feels more natural and comfortable. Whether you're opting for a PC controller through preference or budgetary needs, we're here to help you make the most informed purchase possible. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top six best PC controllers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below, so let's get started. Number 6. Sony DualSense Wireless Controller The Sony DualSense controller is designed to easily connect to your PC via Bluetooth, making it a great option for mobile gaming. However, if you prefer a more stable connection with less latency, you can also plug it in via USB-C for a wired option. Unlike the Xbox Core, the DualSense has a rechargeable battery when used wirelessly, although the battery life is not very long. The DualSense has a sleeker and easier-to-grip design than the DualShock, and it still offers a similar control scheme with symmetrical analog sticks. Steam supports the DualSense controller, and advanced haptics and adaptive triggers work on PC using a wired connection. With more PlayStation-exclusive games becoming available on PC, the DualSense full functionality on PC makes it the best way to play those games. Number 5. Razer Wolverine V2 Chroma The Razer Wolverine V2 is a wired controller that comes packed with exceptional features. The gamepad is designed to provide a consistent power supply, and it also offers Razer's signature RGB lighting subtly along the edge of the controller. This adds some flair to your gameplay without becoming overly distracting. The lighting can even respond to information coming in from certain games, and you have plenty of other effects to really express yourself. Apart from the RGB lighting, the Wolverine V2 Chroma is one beast of a gamepad featuring Razer's mechatactyl switches for the action buttons and D-pad, so you won't get a squishy feel from the controls. The responsive sticks come with swappable caps, while four buttons on the underside, a pair of extra shoulder buttons, and hair trigger locks provide ample flexibility in how you play. The controller is built for Xbox, so most gamers will appreciate its familiar layout. Number 4. Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro The Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro is currently the best PC controller available in the market. It has a solid feel in the hand and comes with a wide range of customization options. From its speed and response times to its endless supply of extra buttons, this gamepad has something special that makes it stand out. We found the accessibility options baked into its modular design particularly impressive during our own testing. Being larger than an average gamepad, it has a heavier and more substantial feel, and an abundance of extra buttons, including the phenomenal feeling triggers and four on the face. Thanks to the modular components, there are many customization options, and we found it easy to adjust the control settings when switching games. If you've been waiting for a great feeling modular controller that finally allows you to swap the positions of the D-pad and left analog stick at will, as well as offering customization and extra inputs, then this is the one. The Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro is perfect for every genre, and you can use it comfortably and quickly. It's the go-to option for the best PC controller available right now. Number 3. Victrix Pro BFG The Victrix Pro BFG is a highly customizable pro-style controller designed primarily for the PS5, but also works wired and wirelessly with PCs. Its aggressive and inventive design lets you pop out the controller modules on each side in seconds with the included tool. You can easily switch between the default offset stick layout to an aligned setting and swap between three different D-pads. The controller also comes with shorter and taller thumbstick caps and a six-button microswitch fight pad for the right side of the controller. The triggers on the controller can be locked at five different pull distances to suit your preference and there are four well-placed back triggers. You can also remap inputs on the fly and store up to three control profiles. All of these features make it the best pro-style controller around when it comes to customization. Number 2. Scuff Instinct Pro The Scuff Instinct Pro, while most professional gamers prefer wired connections, the Instinct Pro gives the option for a Bluetooth connection to the PC or Xbox consoles. Esports controllers are often stripped of features like vibration to reduce weight, 
but the Instinct Pro makes everyone happy with the removable vibration module. The Scuf Instinct Pro is very similar to the official Xbox Series XS controller in dimensions, weight, and front button layout. On the back of the controller, the advantages of the Instinct Pro become more apparent with four attached rear paddles. Each panel is remapped without software, and the conventional triggers can function in regular and instant modes. FPS gamers can access more commands without cramping their fingers while having the ability to launch rapid-fire attacks. Number 1 Xbox Elite Series 2 Core The Xbox Elite Series 2 controller is a great option. This model has four rear paddles that can be customized to perform different actions or modify the function of the face buttons. All the buttons on the gamepad are also removable. The D-pad, back paddles, and analog sticks are magnetically swappable, and you still get the tunable triggers that were loved on the original Elite. The Elite Series 2 controller has a rechargeable battery that the Xbox Core controller doesn't have, and it lasts an impressive 40 hours on each charge. Additionally, it has Bluetooth connectivity in addition to Xbox Wireless, which makes it easy to pair with your PC or smartphone if you have an adapter. If you prefer a low-latency wired connection, there's a USB-C available for that as well. The most recent and biggest tack, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and to subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and advice. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions for products you'd like us to review, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to remain updated and see you in the next video.